dirty girl. Hello, dirty pumpkin. Hi, Finny Fam. You guys ready for, for going outside? Hi, handsome. You're such a calm boy now. All right, where are we at, dude? Sam beat me to the barn this morning. Okay. Good morning, guys. I'm on fly mask Dewey. Where is Finn's fly mask? We uh, love our fly mask from Tough One, but uh, Finn's is a little bit big. Oh, sorry, kitty. <laughs> There's a love affair going on right there. Good morning, Sylvie. So I'm putting on his fly mask. We are all super territorial about the love of our horse now because we've learned that whoever takes care of them is who they love. Oh, so we got this slime mask from where did we get this one? Um, I got sponsored on my channel. Yeah, Sophie got sponsored on her channel and it was, uh, no, I think it was on our channel. Yeah. It was Kensington products or something, Kensington. They're we really were, good. Um, we were at horse camp and, um, you walked down and I complained because I didn't go down. Yeah, and, and I did got, video with Stella. Yeah, and, and then and then Storm all of a sudden loved Stella. Yeah, I remember that. So that is on our channel somewhere here, where Sophie got that fly mask. And what did you get with it? A matching. I got a matching lead rope and a matching sunglasses hat and matching sunglasses. Yeah, and so where is the lead rope? Is where I what I want to know. It's probably in the trailer. <laughs> No clue. Oh, and one thing that I like about this fly mask, if you can't find their halter, then you can just like, yeah, it has a spot there. for a lead rope. Yeah. And then, can you see How do you know? Okay, let's hook pick her right now. All right. All right, let's go get a. Let's go get a hoof pick and hoof pick her. Oh, she's dancing. Who's gonna hoof pick her for me? Mom. Sophia. Or so, you? I don't like to hoof pick her without Mom. a lead rope and a halter and a. Halter. All right, let's go hoof pick her. Hi, Grace. So a lot of people see. A lot of people were were wondering how we could put Brooklyn or Jacob on her when she uh, has a history of being a little bit spooky. Oh my God, she's a leading line pony. Yeah, so oh leading line. God, she trailered out. That's. Yeah, lead line kids. that's what she did. She was a lead line pony. She did um, pony ride. She did. Uh, she likes her fly mask from Tough One. But she got it all dirty because it's too white. <laughs> yeah, yeah, white is pre probably not well, good for Gracie. A crazy bug on her. Yeah, she's a bug girl. So. Um, and Gabby has been working with her. Like we don't show you guys everything that happens, but Gabby spends hours with this I don't horse. Think she's been lunged anytime soon. Literally, Gabby spends hours and hours and hours with this horse. This horse has settled so much since she's come here, and all we plan to do with the grandkids is to to lead line them. Stella's like, get away from my mini, mean, well, mean bully girl. So the thing about hoof picks, we have a bunch of different kinds now. This is my favorite kind. It's got the brush and it's got the hoof pick. I cannot use the other kinds. So this is the other kind. This is nothing for me. Yeah, it gets the rocks out, but that's it. You can't even like. Uh, this, it makes sure that the mud doesn't stick to this. Yeah, but it's. That's why I love this one the best. But you can't do a thorough job with it. You can't brush off all the mud. So this is Gracie's little basket waiting here for Brooklyn. Gabby, Sophie gave Gabby the gloves that she won because they didn't fit her. And then they kind of don't fit Gabby. And so we're gonna give them to Brooklyn. So she's gonna have a whole bunch of stuff when she Don't comes. Don't yet. The reason that poor Finn has to wait to go out in the field every day is because slowpoke storm takes five million years to eat his grain. But he's looking so good. Muscles, and he's got a good weight on him. This is why his old owners taught him. To put his head down? Yeah, whenever we put on the fly mask. He's trying yeah. to put his head down. In the past, he's had lots of training for good manners. Good Storm is our most experienced horse, for Very sure.
guys remember last year, Stella had amazing dapples in the fall. In the fall, in the early fall, like August, September, she got had these beautiful dapples all over her butt. And um, this year I was really sad because they didn't come back and it made me feel like maybe it was because of her health struggles and her weight struggles and the medication she was on and so many things can contribute to the health of a horse. And I, as a horse owner that loved her, felt so guilty, but guess what? Her dapples are coming back. I don't know if you guys can see them. She's got a lot of dirt there, but I've been seeing them for a couple of days now, but they're starting to come in all along here. It might look like dirt, but those are her dapples. Those are her dapples. They're starting to come right here, right here, right here. They're all over. Anyway, I picked Stella's hoofs because she was walking funny, which is why Gabby thought she was lame the other day. If she's got a stone, she like tells us. But horses are so smart. I said, went to the wrong foot and started cleaning it. And she was telling me like, it's this foot, it's this foot, it's this foot. Like if you just stand there and listen to your horse, they tell you everything. Like they can't talk, but they have an, a language all of their own. Yeah, she helped and, me because it was um, rock hard in there. I, I did Will tweet and I just got to do Yeah, do we like cleaning our ho horse's feet? Will, Will has a bunch of rocks and one huge rock. Yeah, that's not good. And I can tell when Stella needs her feet hit. Yeah. Hey, Gracie Carol. Do you have to do her? <laughs> yep. Our horses are used to us just walking up and picking up their feet. They're like, okay, I'll just stand here. I've been working on a uh, apron for Sophie to collect the eggs and it is not done. It's not done yet, but I have one row on and it, it's not awesome. I, I don't care. It just has to be functional. That's all I think. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to go try it. So I got it like a little bit done. I just have to sew the other pieces on. It just has to be functional. I didn't really understand the pattern to be honest. So I just kind of, I just kind of winged it. Yeah, that's what I did. I'm that's a winging what it. I do. Yeah, we are a winging it family. All right, let's see. You need this one too. Okay, I'll this one. You need them all. So Sophie has really been struggling now that we have a lot more eggs. Oh, uh, it's some falling tea? down. Okay, so just 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 turn around there and let's see. So yeah, Sophie can carry some. I eggs got my there. babies. So I need to put a button to secure it still, and I need to put two more rows. For egg collecting. So, what do you think? Tie yeah, yeah, don't untie don't. it. Oh, it's tied up right there. <laughs> it's tied up in a slip knot, like a release knot. Yeah. Quick release knot. Yeah, so do not quick release it. Um, what do you think? What do you, what do you think of it, Soph? It's nice. I got my whole kid. Yeah, baby. Hey, now I can go walking around the store. With your eggs? I got my kids. Sophie the crazy egg lady. Okay, let's put them away. Okay, so we are headed to our usual Tuesday destination, the sales barn. It is such a big learning environment for us. I know a lot of you guys, or some of you guys are not impressed with that place, and a part of me is not either, but we learn a lot. I've learned a lot going there, and it doesn't run all year long, so we like to go. It's something that's deep in us. Animals are deep in us, and we like to go, so we're going. But anyway, while we go there, I want you guys to know that I might show Stella again in October at the show, at the, at the last show. And you guys might know that she was uh, Sophie's horse first and Sophie named her and gave her she named her Stella and she also gave her her show name which is Glitz and Glam and Glitz and Glam even though I like it is not me it's not what I want I want her to have a, oh, I, know what I want her I want to actually be able to give her something I want to give her a show name I want to give her just learning I want to yeah Laura just learning um, no I want to give her my own 
name and I love the name Stella and she is a Stella and I swear she picked the name Stella. Oh yeah, she did. She did, she picked that name. So I wanna pick a show name for her but I have no idea, I'm not good at that. So if you guys have a really good show name, I know I've asked oh, before. Oh, a million dollars. Stella, Laura on a million dollars. I love the sound of that. But anyway, I want it to be kind of like a spiritual, something to represent the journey that she has been on and how she's not a throwaway horse and how she's a forever horse and how every life has value. I don't know. I don't Blow know. Blow your mind. That's best customer. Go on. What? That's Hi. best customer. Best? best customer that is a good name for Stella but anyway if you have like something that you think would suit her please comment it below and maybe I could choose from one of them or be inspired by one of your names and choose a show name for Stella. Laura on it's time for magic. Ooh, it's time for magic or time for magic that's a nice one too. Okay so, so comment Laura below. On, it's time to die. No. <laughs> Laura on, you will not die. <laughs> All right, we are here. Let's see what happens today. You never know when the day by day fam is going to end up bringing home another animal. You might bring home a new chicken. No chickens. I hate oh, adding I chickens. I have $20 so I can get one. Yeah, Sophie brought money. We all brought money this time. <laughs> He's cute. He's a such a cutie. Oh my gosh, there's a goat. Oh, is it a girl? She is cute. Can we get her? She wants to be in the sun. I Dad's love new dog. her. Mom, can, can I, I ask is it a girl? Can I ask and see if she's for sale? Yeah, it's a girl. Can, girl. See, can I ask and see if she's for sale? Yeah, she's for Ali for sale. Find out how much she is. If she's here, she's for sale. All right. Walk away from the puppy. No. She's adorable. She's sweet too. She we do not need left. another puppy. Oh. Look at you, cutie. Oh, a boy do, I think. Aww, you're so bunny. cute. And a free bunny. <laughs> he must have got free. Free range. Free range bunny. Aww. Now you guys are cute. Aww. Oh my goodness. She came right over to you. Wow. Um, why is there one chicken here? Oh, um, um, there's a couple. There's a couple of chicks in ask here. Ask them if that's okay. I mean, chicks for days. Mom, that's the softest. The chick. Yeah, that's the so softest. Yeah, that is the softest thing that you'll ever feel. Tell them. I love seeing so many animals. It is mud season. It is mud season. I love looking at books. I don't like books. I love books. Oh, recipe books. That's an amazing. Oh, I want that. Let me see. Lemonade jar. Yeah, I actually really love this. I've been looking for one of these. I'm going to buy it. Should we get one of these bits, guys? I like collecting bits. This is the bit that Stella has. We decided not to get the bits. I like collecting bits, though. Girls are rushing us. You're not getting candy? So we made it to the candy section, but I do not want to buy. Have a bubba. No way. Oh, so there's a pony. She has four socks. On not her. only is there a pony, there is a foal. The foal? She's so friendly. She just stuck her head over. She is adorable. We have to cut this, though, if we got her. Yeah, we would have Mom, to cut I, this. Mom, I think we, I think. Yeah, we'd have to chop off. Scott knew what he was doing when he did not give us a huge property. Yeah, well, we could still buy her, technically. Oh, hi. He like us, it's my fault. Look at she is adorable. She's so friendly, too. I'm in she love with her. She wanted my Here, I'm going in there. Hold up. No, there's no room, and there's a mama and a foal, and mama's... Look, how look at how short so her nose is. Look how friendly she is, though. She stuck her head over like pet me. Hold this. Oh, she's she young. Hey, I know. She's Let me young, see. Mama. She's 
She's like, do not. Oh, she's powerful. Mom, but look, the fall's so Can I go in there? No, it's She'll a too small. She'll obviously push the pool away and be like, Their feet always need done. Oh, she's so cute though. Can we get her? See if we had a bigger fern. We'd be in trouble. We'd be in trouble. If we, we swap her out for one of those big ones, they work too. Yeah, they but should have a bigger stall for them. They can't even turn around. This is as big as the sauce they can get. She's so cute. Can I go in there? No. Look at her pool. It's friendly. How about a baby cow? Oh my gosh. Look at the babies on that cow. Oh my god, they have twins. Yeah. I'm going in. She has twins. Oh, she's sticking her head behind us. Oh my gosh, yeah, and that mama's about to take your arm off. <laughs> I love her. I love her. Hey, I'll, I'll stop touching. I want to touch it. I've never touched a baby cow before. Can I touch her, mama? Hello. Don't come at me. Don't come for me. Oh, you're such a cute baby. Oh, he's not gonna come to you. Oh, oh, he's making noises. Are you a boy or a girl? Like, oh, ew, you got slimed. Yeah, I know. She's your baby, not mine. I promise I won't hurt her. Okay, girl. We won't hurt you. Ew, I can see where the slime came from now. That baby's got a slimy head, and that horse has got a slimy nose. Horse. I mean cow. I always say the wrong word on the vlog. Look at how cute you are. You are so so cute. A lot of a lot of fat on this guy. Holy. Oh, you are just the sweetest. Can you Gabby. Shut this? Oh gosh. Gabby, look, she's already coming for you. She's like, get the heck away no, from my baby. She wants me to pet her. I hate when you say she's really friendly because it makes me feel like you want to get her and then it makes me no, want to get her. I don't know where to put her though. I know, but we are suckers. But we always do the right thing. Which is getting her. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. Imagine if people just walked up to you and said, oh hi, how are you? Let me braid your hair and just started randomly it's braiding your hair. It's all over her face. She'll be happy when she gets a chance to see it, finally. That's good fly mask. Uh, no. Her, no, her forelock was covering her eyes. She couldn't see at all until I moved it. Then she's like, oh, thank you for letting me see. Is it a girl? That's a full face. So, so eyes it's a boy. Funny. It's a baby boy. Colt. It's a baby Colt. Gabby made the mare so that she can see. Oh, baby! Baby's actually friendly because they can't run away. I feel like you could walk up to her and she would walk up to you. She's like Gracie, not like Willow. The other day, I actually dreamed about a mare and a, a mare, a pony mare and a baby. I didn't know it meant it's that we were going to see one. Yeah. Thought, Aw, she's cleaning each other. Aw, how stressed can they be if they're taking care of each other? What a good mama. I feel like you guys think that I'm the bleeding heart in the family, but I literally want to take the best care of the horses that we have, and I know every horse you get decreases the amount that you can take care of the horse that you have and the attention that you can spend on them, so I, I definitely want to just love the horses we have. But Sam over there is definitely a bleeding heart. If we had a bigger farm, every horse, they'd come home with horses every week if I didn't come and say no, like. Oh guys. Seriously. That mare picked me. Um, she tried to play bite me one, like twice, but that was just because I had food. And she's like, hey, I want the food, hey. Guys looking for lunch? You guys want lunch? We're down in the barn to feed lunch, and I brought down our slinkies. I always wash everything after every show and put it all away, so we're ready for the next show. Anyways, I want to tell you guys something. I keep on like, there's so much stuff that you guys don't know because, or that I don't get to say because our videos, we only have so much time. But anyway, I want to tell you guys about how. Hi. Hi, girly. Hi, Stella. 
You guys are hungry? There's lots of hay on the ground, so. Come here, Gracie girl. You guys let her come. Come on, Gracie. Gracie is one of my favorite horses, you know. You have to be nice to her. Anyway, when I did my first show, this is something that I didn't get ever to tell you guys. That, um, first of all, winning against a six-year-old little girl does not feel like a win. Like, you just, I don't know how it, like, I don't know how to explain it, but you can't, like, I don't know. It's just weird. Like, I don't feel like an adult should compete against a little girl. Okay, so just saying that part. I just wanted to say that part, but... Um, so basically I knew I wasn't gonna win because it was hard like in the video I looked better than I was so I didn't video the whole thing I feel like I feel like there were missing parts where I like was trying to go over a jump and I had to like drag her actually it was in there but it didn't look as bad as it felt when I was on her like when I'm actually riding her it feels worse than it looks does that make sense so I felt like I really struggled and I knew that I wasn't going to win anything because the little girl that you guys saw in the video that is freaking adorable and I love her and I feel like she, she could be my twin. Um, I thought for sure she was going to win because she always wins and I knew Sophie was going to win. So I wasn't expecting to win anything and I didn't care that I wasn't going to win anything and it was like a weird feeling going up there with all those little tiny girls and sitting there. And the first thing I wanted to tell you is that I kind of struggled a lot keeping Stella going in the direction that I wanted her to go. Um, but when it was time to line up, she saw Finn and she just went doo doo doo, like went right up there, lined herself up, like I didn't have to do anything. We lined up perfectly. Um, anyways, so then, when I first started doing the awards, I won the, I won second. So I wasn't really paying attention because I, I didn't really like, I was just sitting there enjoying the moment that I did the show and I was so proud of myself and I knew Sophie would win. Actually, I didn't know Sophie would win. So I was just sitting there. And I thought she said, I thought they awarded fourth, third, second. And then I thought they were doing first place and they came close to us and I knew I wasn't gonna win first place. So I thought it was gonna be Sophie. And I was like, Sophie, you, you won, you're gonna win. And then she said, and in second place, and then she announced me. And because in my mind, I thought they already awarded all the prizes up to first and I knew Sophie was going to win first and I was expecting that to win. So because I was already in that mindset, it was the most surreal feeling. I was like shocked. I was like when they said in second place and, and, and before they even said my name, I was like second place and then I realized the other two kids flying hay. Get, get. <laughs> Anyway, I can say it the way that I actually mean it. Like, the, I can't express what I, I want to say, but hearing them say that I won second in that, well, I was so, I was so shocked. Like, so overwhelmingly shocked. I got tears in my eyes, and I, like, hardly could hold it together. And the reason was not that I won second place over these tiny little kids. The reason was that... It's oh, the first show ever. I don't even know if I can tell you because it's so emotional, but it was that... In that moment when I won the second place in the first trip of the show, um, I was like so overwhelmed because I've told you guys so many times that the only reason I wanted a, a ribbon on Stella, the only reason I wanted to show her was because I wanted all the people who thought that Stella wasn't worthy and that she was a throwaway horse. I wanted them all to know that she is an amazing horse and that her life had value and just getting that second place ridden to me was successfully sharing with the world that Stella's life had value. I don't know how to explain it. It's something I'm so super emotional and serious about, about not throwing away animals that aren't good enough and I know I got rid of my bird against my will. I did not want to get rid of him but we try not to rehome animals for a lot of reasons but yeah I just like that minute when I won that second place all the rest didn't matter like the other second place and the third place did not matter all that mattered was that I was going to get to share that Stella came second and that she is valuable to not just me but to other people too and that is a big thing big huge thing for me so anyway, that, that's one thing that I didn't get to tell you guys and now I'm glad I did, so that's it. But that is it, that is it for today's video just because I know we're going to have too much footage. Ooh.